see in the morning. It's amazing. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We are in another FAQ section or another FAQ video. Um, and if you're wondering by this point, I do have three FAQ videos up. Um, best motorcycle rider tips, best motorcycle exhaust, what exhaust I have, and now this one, the best beginner bike. Another very popular question. And also for the thumbnails, yes, I'm gonna do neon green for all the thumbnails. Uh, it makes it easier to distinguish which ones are uh, FAQ videos and whatnot for me to be able to put them in so that's that's always beneficial and to uh, get the point out of the video a little better so all right so anyways let's, let's get down to the nitty-gritty I've never said that before and I do not like it nitty-gritty it's like your mom your mom's nitty-gritty all right, so anyway, so if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what the best beginner bike is. And uh, I know a very popular, uh, very popular video out there made by Chase um, is along the same lines. I've never watched the, the video, but uh, I didn't watch it on purpose because I didn't want to, I didn't want to um, flatten out what I have to say because I feel like I shouldn't say what Chase says. Uh, simply because I, I don't want to copy him. Oh my god, look at these fags. Squid mania over here. Holy crap, man. You can't squid any more than that. Anyways. Um, and they're on a Jixxer. Go for it. So I, I didn't want to watch it simply because I didn't want to uh, feel as if I was copying him. So... to answer this question is so wide open in so many different directions so I'm gonna go off of how I do it uh, fuck you UPS fuck you fuck you all right so basically what I do to uh, tell someone what best be I like is, is when in doubt go to 250 honestly if you really are not sure or don't know what you're doing at all go where the 250 a ninja 250 and ninja 300 that's even good um, a Honda CBR 250, a Rebel, any of those are great bikes. Um, I mean, they're amazing bikes. Um, that's that's what I always recommend for anyone that's never rode a motorcycle, never rode a dirt bike, never rode a pit bike, never rode any type of two wheels. A bicycle does not count. Everyone rode a bicycle. That's kind of how I do my guidelines. Now, um, if you're like 6'5", 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", and you weigh like 200, over 200 pounds because you're, you're fucking tall as shit, um, obviously you probably don't want to start on a 250. I mean, have you seen 6'4 on a 250? It's funny as hell. No offense, 6'4 on a 250. Um, but, alright, one second guys. Ah! Alright, cool. Alright, so, you know, if you're that tall, um, I would advise getting something different. Um, not necessarily a 600 Super Sport, but a great bike that has power, but not as much power as a, um, or it actually has close to the amount of power, as a uh, Super Sport is a SV650. SV650s are amazing bikes to start on. They are amazing, amazing bikes to start on. Um, simply because they're, uh, some people when they get 250s, they feel, oh, this is not enough power for me, but I didn't want to get a 600 because it's too much power. Well, an SV650 are amazing bikes simply because it's that nice line in between not enough power and uh, enough power to get me where I want to go. So, I know a lot of people start on SV650. They're great bikes. Great bikes. I wish I would have taken that route, but I didn't know all that much about bikes back when I was getting into them. So, um, uh, but anyways, if you want to start out on a 600, um, that's okay. It's not terrible to start out on a 600. Um, it's not bad. Like I said, I mean, you can go to no experience to a 600. It's, I've seen it. I've seen it done many times. It's not terrible. I mean, it's doable. But um, it all comes back to having respect with your bike um, and not being overconfident. Just like the beginner rider tips, you just can't be overconfident. Have respect for your bike. Know its limitations. Know what you can and cannot do. Just because you 
been riding for a week and a half and you know how your bike accelerates does not know mean you know how your bike goes. Do I ever recommend anyone getting a thousand for their first bike? Fuck to the hell no. I, I don't even, I'm not even going to cover that topic. Because, oh, you know, there's going to be those guys in the comments that are, are cooler than everybody. Yeah, I started out on an R1 and a Jigsaw 1000 back with my brother because he taught me. I love those comments. And the funny part is a lot of them are trolls, but there's a couple of them that are serious. Yeah, man, I started on R1. I'm doing fine. Never crashed. Yeah, bro. I hear a motorcycle around me. Because there is. There's a Harley. But anyways, so uh, don't ever recommend starting a 1000. If you want a starter bike and you don't have much experience, go Ninja 250, Ninja 300, Honda CBR 250, or if you want a Cruiser style, Honda Rebel, anything like that. Uh, anything like that, great bikes. Um, if you want to start out, I don't recommend getting a new bike for your first bike. I definitely do not recommend that because um, uh, when you ride, when you be, or we're learning to ride, um, it's natural to kind of drop the bike one time or two times or just because you're learning and it, it happens, it's whatever. Um, so I don't recommend a new bike simply because of that. Um, I would hate to buy, I would hate personally to buy a brand new bike and then while I'm learning drop it and fuck up the resale value some point you're gonna wanna wanna sell that ninja to get a bigger bike. So that's the only reason I would be frustrated. But so like I, I got a used 2010 Ninja 250, beautiful bike. Sold it in like four months after I got it. Simply because I was ready to move up. Everyone moves up at different times. Everyone moves up at different times. I know there's some way you can put a uh, governor on a 600 to make it a 250. Uh, you could always do that. that. That's like the fucking most amazing idea ever. I wish I would have done that. Then you can kind of move up when you want. But that's kind of how I feel about it. So if you have any beginner uh, bike tips, go feel free to leave them in the comments to help some of these beginner guys out. And if you're watching this video and you haven't, uh, you've never rode before, don't get nervous. I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, a lot of the guys like me, when I started riding, I watched YouTube videos to learn how to ride. Literally, that's what I did, and I watched them over and over again. Uh, I learned how to, learning how to ride. And, you know, me, I'm not that great at learning, like, that type of stuff, so I was worried sick. So, you know, I took it from my perspective uh, and made learning the Yummy Way videos. So if you've never uh, rode a bike and you, you're looking into learning how to ride, I did learning the Yummy Way videos on stuff that I was confused on that no one went over in YouTube videos when I started riding. So, I'm sure that will help you, uh, you guys out a, a little bit at least. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's the, that's the be best uh, ri beginner rider bikes. Um, I mean, I really don't, I don't really, I really don't know what else to say other than those bikes because those are the bikes I always recommend anyone to get. Seven days a week, people. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, oh, fuck you, light. It's a camera light, too, so I can't go over it. I hope you guys enjoyed this FAQ section. Um, there will be many more FAQ videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, and go check out the other FAQ section and, uh, the Learning the Yummy Way. And then, of course, my daily uploads that I do every day and my family on Friday and all that good shebang. But anyways, guys, I hope everyone has a great day and thanks for stopping by and watching. Peace out, guys.